It certainly is, Jonathan. So let's get you to auction without hesitation, repetition or deviation. Anyway, um, none of this idle chit-chat, Philip. We've got work to do. The road trip gets moving once more, leading our chaps away. Gainsborough, Etworth and Grantham far behind us. Next stop is Big and some Lincoln. Had one false move and we're all dead. That's cheered me up now, ain't it? <laughs> they call Lincoln the uphill downhill town, built as it is on a gap in the Lincoln Cliff, all centred on magnificent Lincoln Cathedral, first built in 1092. Don't you know? Today is, you guessed it, auction day, and our would-be winners arrive feeling fresh and frisky. Well, fresh at least. Well, I wish us both the best, JP. Lincoln's unique auctions has been selling antiques and all sorts here since 2006. Today's gavel basher, Terry Woodcock, has kindly offered some thoughts on Philip and Jonathan's bag of auction dreams. The Silver Compact. Not a very good buy. Uh, it isn't tortoise shell, as, as first thought. It is just celluloid. Scrap value, which is a really bad what it's worth, 20 to 30 pounds. The silver plated tea service with the oval tray, very bad news. It always cracks up. So it's not usable. It's only good for display. So, a bright, optimistic outlook for the sale ahead. Not. <laughs> Philip started today's show with £366.62p and spent £140 on five auction lots. Jonathan looked at his meagre £126.72p and spent a thoroughly heroic £92 on four auction lots. So, we can safely say that Jonathan really needs his items to fly this day. Time to sit uncomfortably. The auction is about to begin. First to face the bidders is Philip's artist's palette, wonderfully displayed here by a fine Manchurian gentleman. Who will start me at twenty pounds? Ten then. Thank you. Ten. I've got there at ten pounds. At ten, twelve, fourteen, at sixteen and eighteen. Fresh bid there. And twenty and two. No, at twenty-two. I can come to you now. 24, 26, 28, and 30. No, Shay said at 30 pounds, and I'm selling it at 30 pounds. Yours at 30. That's a good result. I'm staggered. Don't act so surprised. It's a very nice item. Now, Jonathan's first hopeful, his fishing port engraving, awaits the bidders. Eight pounds, low figure, eight, I'm looking for ten. Ten I've got there at ten, and twelve at twelve. At twelve I have them fourteen. At fourteen pounds, sixteen fresh bid. At eighteen, at eighteen pounds, and twenty. At twenty pounds, go on, your go on, go on, go on. Who's, who's shouting me? It is yours at twenty. At twenty pounds I have, twenty it's yours. Three, twelve, I'm looking for fourteen. And from high five to low quality, Philip's unfortunate powder box is up next. Let's hope nobody notices it's not tortoiseshell. May have in your catalogue that it's tortoise shell, unfortunately, it's not, it's celluloid. Oh dear. And celluloid. Ten pounds I've got there. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. No, twenty-two I've got there. Twenty-two it is. Have you all done twenty-two? A rather sad loss for Philip, but let's move swiftly on. Jonathan's striking strawberry dish is just waiting to bear fruit. Let's hope no one spots the missing handles. Lacking the handles. Not really noticeable, though. Thank you. There it is. And I've got to start it with me at a low start of £20. That's true. At 20 I'm looking for 22 At £20, 22 24 26 28 and 30 and 2 32 he shakes his head at 32 34 fresh bid 36 38 and 40 and 2 44 46 no nope, 46 standing in the doorway 46 i've already made a little bit more but 46 me too actually at 46 pounds sold at 46 
I don't think you're unless you know. I do. Jonathan's just speechless after that. But how about Philip? <laughs> Next is Philip's euphonium. Or is it? Ah, oh, we've got the tuba now. <laughs> there it is. We, we checked on the French manufacturers, and they were one of the best manufacturers of musical instruments. You buy it, then. <laughs> it's a tuba, not a euphonium. Oh, well, start me at thirty pounds then. That is big trouble, Jay. Thank you. The voice of thirty pounds, and I'm looking for thirty-five. At thirty pounds, and five at the back, and forty, and five. No, nope, at forty-five, I've got at the back there. At forty-five, I thought this would make a lot more money, but it doesn't. Forty-five pounds is going in the back corner. Forty-five it is. At least we know to tune now. That's the spirit. And now let's try Jonathan's Art Deco tea service, the one that splits in the heat. <laughs> Good luck. Let's try me at 20. Thank you, 20. I've got there at 20 pounds or 20. I'm looking for 22 or 22. Thank you, 24, 26, 28, and 30, and 2. Don't stop. 34. Thank you. 36, fresh bid. At 36, 38, and 40. You sure. One more. Go on, one more. I'll take it 41. 42. And for your cheek, I'm going to take 43 now. 43, thank you. 44. I'll give you the pound if you go 45. I've got 44 at the back. Back in at 45. I'm not going to give you the pound. It's work in the room now. 46. Well, I've never been so gripped by such tiny increments. Will it go above 46 pounds? 47, thank you. Yes. 48, I've got right at the back and selling at 48. Yours of 48. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whose was it? <laughs> well done, Jonathan. Now, let's get all cosy, eh? Nice crawl throw, and I'm starting it with me at £25, and I'm hoping it's going to make a lot, lot more. Oh, at yeah. £25, I have a 25, 30, 5, 40, 5, 45, 40. No, it's still 45 with my commission buyer. At 45, have you all done? And it's going at 45. You're all right, 45. Very good, Philip. Very good indeed. Now, let's see what Bonzo can do for Jonathan. 22, 24, 26. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? All right, all right, settle down. 28, fresh bid. And 30. At 30. Have you all done at 30 pounds and selling? The boy is back. He certainly is. And how nice, finally, this week to see Jonathan actually making some profits. So, as today's final lot is offered, who will be victorious? And who's for the chop chop? Ah. There they are, very unusual. I think they could be worth quite a lot of money. You'll start me at £100. 30 to get on, surely. 30 I have. At 30 pounds, I'm looking for five. 35. 40. At 40 pounds, that's not 10 pounds each. At 40 pounds. 42, thank you. At 42 pounds, I think there should be a lot, lot more money than this. Fresh bid, 44. Six. 48, back in. Oh at 48. <laughs> at 48. Have you all finished at the back at 48? This could be one of the bargains of the day. 48 pounds. A paltry profit for Philip. But how's that sad news sitting with Jonathan? Yes, I've won an auction. Yes. You heard it first here, folks. I think so. I don't know. I think, I think so. No, really. Really, you have. After paying auction costs, Philip's stake of £366.62p made a profit of £15.80p. And so his wallet has further inflated to a big bouncy, bulging total of £382.42p. Keep smiling, Phil. Jonathan began with a sow's ear of £126.72p, but he made a fine silk purse of his day, a princely profit of £26.08p. Jonathan faces the world refreshed with £152.80p. And better still, he wins the day. 
What was it? I'm in the money. <laughs> you, you I'm on the upfill. I've worked it out, right? We've done about 140 miles, spent 40 hours shopping, and between us, we've made about 40 quid. It's a pound an hour. Oh, never mind. You ain't seen nothing yet, boy. <laughs> and that's fighting talk. Next time on the Antiques Road Trip, the chaps head for their final decisive auction in Wilmslow. Philip goes for broke. Jonathan goes on a date. Got beautiful eyes. Yeah. And they both get going up the road. <laughs>